this is a house who tours the eye. And today we want to show you how to use this bike lock so that you can lock up your bike effectively. I only have a U lock to show you today, but if you have a cable lock, it's easy, same concept, you just have more room to do it. Good morning. Midnight Madness. And then if you have a, uh, good morning. Yeah, I guess cable lock or any other kind of cable kind of thing. So we'll find a, uh, a good tree, a free tree. Hi. We'll find a tree here to, uh, to lock up. So this is thin enough where we can use it. Now notice the branches up here that someone's not going to be able to pull the bike off from the top. And uh, we'll use the, we'll use the, uh, the key to unlock the, the lock here. And then one of the most secure ways is to really capture this back wheel and the frame at the same time which usually can be done. I guess it's at an angle. So here we're capturing the back wheel, the tree, and the frame, and locking up like this. Hey, good morning. <laughs> um, the other way is to go with the front tire and the frame. And just considering which one you want people not to steal, you could also, at that rear location, you could take the front wheel and put it back there if you really wanted to be uh, particular. Otherwise, you can lock it up like this, getting the front wheel and the front part of the frame next to the locking uh, device rack, just like that. Um, that leaves the back wheel available to steal, but that's not much of a problem because there's a chain back there and uh, I don't know, I think in most cities it'd be unlikely uh, that someone's going to steal a back wheel. Um, seats are stolen sometimes, that's an issue, but in general, I mean, you're going to have to take a risk with your bike, unless you just want to, I mean, so I'm from the city of Irvine here, been living here a few years, so i kind of gotten used to it and a little bit lazy. I mean, if you're in New York, totally different situation, bikes are stolen a lot there, so it really depends on your city what kind of lock. As for what lock to get, you're supposed to spend about 10% of the bike cost. So if you're buying a $500 bike, you get like a $50 lock, that kind of thing. Good morning. Of course, I didn't follow that rule. I got a cheaper lock than my bike, or cheaper than 10%, but in general, you lock or kryptonites are pretty good. So those are the locking locations. So many people will just lock up the handlebars or, or uh, just the front wheel and this is this isn't uh, proper you know it's a great way to uh, have your frame stolen and uh, stuff like that so as for seats you can get a little thin cable lock that kind of wraps around your seat and goes to your frame um, seats do get stolen unfortunately so but yeah that pretty much uh, that brings it home for you uh, so this is Thursday. We got overclass. We got make right here. And that's the sack!